all of my beautiful Scorpio sun, moon, and rising sign friends. My name is LaChan with Power Life Hypnosis, and this is your April 2017 Love and Romance Predictions and Oracle Guidance Reading. As always, I would like to say thank you so much to all of you who have thumbs up and liked my videos. Thank you to all of you who have shared my videos, all of my old subscribers, as well as all of my new subscribers. I truly appreciate the support from you all. Also, I appreciate all the comments that you guys have been leaving. I haven't been able to reply to the mid-March uh, comments because I have been very, very busy doing private readings. However, I read every single message and I really, every single comment rather, and I really appreciate them because again, I feel as though they help me be a better reader for you guys and provide you with better guidance by seeing how these things resonate. So please continue to comment. I do read each and every one of them, and I would love to get back to you um, in between the, the private readings. So again, thank you guys so much. These are private readings, so the messages may or may not resonate with you. They may resonate with you in different ways. So please check your moon, sun, and rising sign videos in order to get all the messages for you or if these messages do not resonate with you. If you would like to book a private reading with me, please email me at powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com. I am still doing future partner readings, which I am really, really excited about, you guys, because I feel as though they have been going really, really well. I am actually blown away by, you know, all of this that is happening. So if you would like information such as when you will meet your future partner, where, where to look, um, what they'll look like features, uh, personality uh, traits, please reach out to me, email me as soon as this video is done so you can get on my reading list as soon as possible. Please use me as a resource as I would love to give you some insight and guidance into your upcoming relationships. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. What I did for you guys is my 333 spread, which I also did in my March videos. So I took three Lenormand cards for a prediction, three Kipper cards, which is a German cardamancy method for a prediction, and three Oracle Guidance cards. So let's go ahead and start. So for your Lenormand prediction, the cards that I have here for you are, the first one is the letter. The second card is the snake. And the third card is the mice. Now, taking these three cards together, okay, so what I can see immediately is in the center there is the snake card, which can mean different things. Usually it means betrayal, um, lies, cheating, infidelity, and things like that. It can also mean the other woman. So this letter card that came, you know, that I pulled out first, so this is this refers to a message, a written message. So this could be a text message, this could be a letter, it could be an email, something like that. So I see for many of you, there's going to be a letter that comes in about some betrayal, some lies, some manipulation, some cheating or something like that, that's going to create some worry or some stress or an instability in your relationship. And the mice card can also represent manipulation going on. So it's interesting how we have this manipulation card, this lion betrayal card by the snake, and then this one as well on the end with the mice. So this could be you because these are, you know, general readings. So it could be that you are sending someone a message about betrayal, and lies, or this card in the uh, middle, the snake card can also mean the other woman. So for some of you, you may be sending a message about another woman that can create some worry or create some, some loss because the mice card speaks of diminishment and loss. So there can be some type of loss of love, some type of loss of happiness in the relationship. So again, there's going to be a message that comes in about this and it's it's going to cause some um you know some stress it's not going to be the the best news if that um scares you please stay tuned because i have guidance for you at the end of this video so for your kipper prediction the first card that i pulled here is rich good gentleman the second card that i have here for you is a journey and then I have here for you a change okay so 
First off, the rich, good gentleman card, this can represent, this is a person card, so this can represent you. Um, this is a general reading, so this can resonate in different ways, but this card can represent you. Uh, it can also represent a young lover. Sometimes this is good news coming in. However, from this, um, you know, these Lenormand cards here, you know, with not so good cards, it's, they can, it can mean a, you know, not so good news coming in. But this is just relating it to this. Um, but in any event, it could be a message coming in, um, but it can also be a, a lover. So from what I can see here, this rich good gentleman, regardless of if that's you or your lover, this person can be either moving on or leaving something familiar. This card, this card of journey has to do with travel, has to do with moving forward, moving on. So that could be a, you know, something going on for many of you. Some may be just wanting to get away from the situation, um, get away from the rich good gentleman. If you're the rich good gentleman, you know, you want to get away from your, um, romantic situation or someone which is going to cause some type of change in the dynamic it's going to cause a change and there's different changes that this can you know speak to it could speak to um someone leaving for someone else it could speak to someone moving away it could speak to a new beginning that's happening it can just speak to some type of change in the uh rom romantic dynamic between you two in the romantic situation in your love life so that is what I have for you. I know that's a pretty um, general one, I feel, but that is what I got out, so I just tell you guys what I got. Okay, so <clears throat> now to go into your Oracle Guidance. So the three cards that I have here for you, the first card that I have is Fork in the Road, and actually all the Oracle Cards came up in the reverse, so this is a lot of protection. These are all protection messages. So this card, Fork in the Road, number 13, this is a four energy, so it speaks of stability and security. And that may be something that you're working towards right now. So this Fork in the Road card, it speaks to, in the upright, making a decision. In the reverse, it says that some of you may be sitting on make a, making a decision. Some of you may be waiting to make a decision, not wanting to make a decision, putting off making a decision. And the thing about that is that is a decision as well. Making a decision not to do something is also making a decision. I feel like I keep saying decision, decision a lot. So that is also making a decision by not doing anything. And, you know, the thing about that is, when there's a decision need to be made and we're sitting on it, we're not making it, that causes its own stress, that causes its own worries because we know that there's something that has to be done and we're not attending to it. So this is also saying, you know, at this time, it may be a good idea to figure out what it is that you want to do and also don't let anyone else choose for you. If there's a decision that needs to be made, you know, get on it. And don't let anybody else make that decision for you. Your life is your life. What you want to do with your life is your decision and your decision alone. So don't give your power away to anybody else when it comes to making a decision. Not, you know, a significant other, not even this reading. Make the choice that's best for you because nobody knows what you want and what you need and what's best for you, you know, but you. And also this card is saying, if you happen to make a decision that... If you happen to make a decision that, you know, you fear may not be the best decision for you, not to worry because spirit, God, your higher power loves giving second chances. Your higher power loves giving second chances to you. So no matter what decision you make, you will be okay, even if it seems like it's not the best one in the moment, even when, you know, you make a decision and afterwards, if you think, oh, I shouldn't have made that decision, I don't know if that was the right thing to do, know that making any decision is better than making none. And if things don't look as if they will work out in the short term, remember that there is the law of uh, divine timing. There's a law of divine timing. So we may make a decision. We may not know that it's the right decision to make. And the universe, you know, your higher power could be working on things in the background in order to bring you, you know, the desired result that you want, even though you, may, you know, you didn't see that at that time. So again, get up, do something, make a decision because you will be okay. 
So the second card that I have here for you is flexible in the reverse. And flexible, sorry guys, I accidentally stopped the video. So again, we have flexible. So that's number 19 and that resonates with a, so 19, 10, that resonates with a one energy. So this is, you know, thinking about the self. This is also new beginnings, things like that. So with this flexible card, it is saying, it is speaking of, in the reverse, it speaks of rigidity. It speaks of not allowing yourself to be flexible in your approach and in your love and relationships. And the thing about, Rigidity is that when we stay stuck on how we always do things, how things, even not even how we always do things, but even our own beliefs, you know, I'm hearing something about um, beliefs and actions from the past for protection, you know, emotional protection for some of you. But when we stick to, you know, the things that we've always done and how things have always been, and we're not willing to compromise and open up and look at things in a different way, you know, there's no growth available. There's no way to grow, to learn and to move forward and to expand because if we're just staying in this little circle, you know, being rigid, we can't learn new ways to do things. And another thing about that is in the situations where we are so rigid and we're saying, no, this is the way things need to be done, Nobody wins. Nobody wins because there's no um, compromise. There's no mutual um, connection. You know, there's there's no mutual benefit in this situation. So again, be flexible in your approach. And, you know, this could be being flexible in your approach with this decision you have to make because, again, fork in the road is a decision. So it could be being flexible with this decision that you have to make. Um, maybe making a decision in a different way, thinking differently in making this decision, something like that. And the third card that I have here for you is number 35, so five, six, seven, eight, to have power, take your power, loyal heart in the reverse. And this loyal heart card in the reverse, it speaks of for some of you, there may be a situation in which you have a misplaced loyalty. So it's looking at, it says to look at who you give your loyalties to. Are there people in your environment that do not deserve your loyalty? It's saying, look at your beliefs, look at your ideas, and look at the people around in your life. And if there's someone in your life at this time, for example, you know, it could be this, um, this person, this manipulative person, but you know, this is a general reading, so it resonates in different ways. However, you know, look at the people in your life. If there's someone in your life who's not treating you well, if there's somebody in your life who has betrayed you. Pay attention to that because that person is not supposed to be in your life. When it comes to love and relationships, betrayal is not supposed to be a factor in those because when we're truly in love, when we're truly happy, things flow, things are great. Betrayal is not supposed to be there. So if there's someone who betrayed you in some situation, then that person is not supposed to be there. So it's saying that, you know, if you're really attached to someone you're really attached to, it could be, you know, this approach, whatever this is, if you're really attached to something, you have to be able to let it go, especially if it's not working for you, especially if it's not serving you and serving your heart. You know, let the situation go and instead think in a new way, think in a different way and know that by letting this person, this belief, whatever it is, you know, I'm, I'm assuming it's a person, by letting this person go, you are opening up a space for something beautiful and something new to come in. So you're opening a space for a new person to come in. For example, one train cannot come into the station before the other train leaves. The first train has to leave before the next train can come into the station. So by moving someone out of your life, who shouldn't be there by moving someone out of your life who's not benefiting you, who's not providing you with the love that you deserve because we all deserve love. By moving that person out of your life, you're able to allow someone to come in. You're able to allow the universe, allow God, allow your higher power to bring someone in who is much better for you and who actually provides you with the love you want. So again, you know, make the decision, even if it's difficult to make the decision, make it, you know, without fear, knowing that it just has to be done. Be flexible in your approach and watch your loyalties, who you're loyal to, and don't allow anybody who has betrayed you to allow to remain in your life and cause whatever grief or whatever um, stress, whatever worry that is a result of that betrayal and that lies and those lies. 
So those are all the messages that I have for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that I was able to provide you with some useful guidance in your love and romantic relationships in the month of April 2017. If these messages resonate with you, please thumbs up and like this video. Please share this video and please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And again, if you would like to book a private reading with me, please email me at powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com. All the prices for everything are in the description box below. Please check that out. If you would like a future partner reading to learn who your future partner is, where you will meet them, what they're going to look like, things like that, email me. Use me as a resource. Email me right now, powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful month, and I will see you here again for your mid-April videos. Thanks, guys. Bye.